This episode's FDR shoutout goes to Matt English. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. Yo, what's up, Quarry Gang Fish fam? How you guys doing? Welcome back to another Fish Tank review. You. What's this? Nothing much, just the dopest merch dropping. Check out the original official Cory Gang design. Thank you for those of you who have already got it. And like I said before, make sure to take that picture beside your fish tank or whatever and show it off with you in the shirt. Send me a pic, I will feature it on FTR, CSR, Instagram. Also, now's a good time to buy the limited edition Vaporwave designs because they are going off sale exactly one week from now. So they will no longer be in the market. If you haven't heard yet, there is a giveaway right now for a full Minecraft account, Java edition. So go to my Instagram and sign up for that. And why am I giving out Minecraft? Because there's a official FFT Minecraft server and you don't want to miss out on that. So there's more details in the comment section or description. Check it out. Well, you're just going for it. You're just biting it. Oh gosh. Oh, it's still alive, but I don't know. Hell how alive it will be. Oh gosh, still trying to bite it. There's the other fish. I mean, mother dogs do do this um, to help their pups, but those aren't dogs and they're probably quite sensitive to, you know, being bitten like that. So I don't know about this one. I have seen another video where the dog is using its snout to kind of brush more water onto a fish that's lying just on the ground. So I think dogs are smart enough to know that there are certain animals that need to be in the water to be alive, which is actually a pretty smart thing to know. The problem with this is the owner. I wouldn't put my goldfish on the ground to test if my dog is smart enough to save them. I think that is called fish abuse. <laughs> sure, it's cute, but at the cost of having your dog semi-bite your drowning fish, yes, fish do drown when they're not in the water. I've explained this before, but if you need me to explain it again, ask me in the comments, I'll be happy to do it. I make this example that has something to do with noodles as a metaphor. It's pretty interesting. Not sure if LFS is giving me advice or just trying to sell me sh 100% of the time this happens. <laughs> Seriously, your local fish store is, you know, they gotta make some dollars. Rent is not cheap and not many people, not a lot of people actually buy things. They go in like with their kid to check it out and point at things and be like, mom, can I get this? No, you can't get a fish. Then why are you in the LF? <laughs> Then why are you even in there in the first place? Come on, it's not a zoo. Anyway, rant over. A couple of LFSs in my area, if I ask them like, when does this come in? Or if it's a new fish I've never seen, I ask them questions, they're like, uh, yeah, it, it, it's fine. Um, do you wanna buy it? You wanna buy it? Do you wanna buy it? You buy it now? <laughs> so no, LFSs are not the best place to, to ask your questions. It's buy or get out. Do your research beforehand. This tank is sent in by RT. Wow, it's like a piece of art. No, but I do really enjoy it. I like, there's a split substrate, which is pretty neat. Split very cleanly where the nutrient rich substrate is uh, parted off to the side, harboring all those live plants, which is a huge plus. Then you got some white in the middle and then you got some rock scape. You got a wood scape on my right. Black background, always welcomed. Pretty nice, 4.2 out of five, keep it up. Fish Hunter from Discord sent in this meme. Hot Pockets Aquarium Gravel Flavored, super crunchy, I'll bet, huh? Now this is all I'm gonna think about when I see some rainbow gravel, Hot Pockets. That's kind of like if you put some nerds, you know the candy, the nerds candy, and pack the Hot Pocket with it. I imagine that wouldn't taste so good. So really, rainbow colored gravel is not welcomed anywhere at all. Not even in a Hot Pocket. Ben Blasting Game, the pupil of your eye can expand as much as 55% while looking at something you love. Aww. Thank you, Ben. I love it though, it's super funny. Good job. Five big fish in this 20 gallon aquaponics. Why does every single aquaponics suck? Why does it all suck? Every single one I've shown here. I, I guess there's a little bit of bias because I'm going to shitty aquariums. Still, why are there so many sucky aquaponics? This thing's not even growing anything. Even the crappy ones at least have some sort of vegetable on it. Five big old fish that are just gonna keep getting bigger and to rub salt on the wound, you got blue gravel, everybody. Blue gravel. 
just the best kind of gravel. You got that Gatorade flavored blue gravel hot pocket, no doubt. This tank is sent in by Lily Carlisle. Hey, I see the Endler. All right. The scape is pretty interesting. It's understocked, which I like. Oh, there's a beta. I didn't even notice that beta. I wonder if the beta are getting along with the Endlers and not uh, bothering them too much. Pachi's just really lively today. <laughs> She's not supposed to be this lively right now. I took her out in the hopes that she would be a little more chill than she is right now. She's gonna jump, isn't she? You gonna jump? You think about it? Not too on board with that gravel, as you may have guessed. Those kind of colors are not reminiscent of what you would find in nature, but I'm I'm just being a Karen about it, so just ignore me. That aside, I do like the Lava Rock Scape. Lava Rock is a cheap aquascaping medium, and I should be recommending it more instead of destroying your wallets by recommending Seiru and Oakostone all the time. I apologize. Four out of five, keep it up. Pashi, what happened to the good old days where you would just hang out nicely on my shoulder? Are we gonna have a talk again? Sorry friend, but buying animals impulsively is not okay. <laughs> we need a name for the fish I just impulsively bought. <laughs> hey, that tank looks like the tank that I smashed in that video about how to make the best beta fish tank. And I got a bunch of you right on the spot, like you thought I was actually gonna go with that kind of tank until I started smashing it. Make sure you smash the like button. I don't always call the fish store for help, but when I do, I don't have any water parameters or relevant information. Relevant is spelled wrong. Again, very true, but still, never ask your fish store for help. They don't need a certification of a fish master to be able to sell their products, which are live fish, other animals and plants. They don't need that sort of information. But what you really want to do is you go on a forum and ask for help. Maybe go to aquarium co-op. Maybe check out Dustin's fish tanks. That way you don't even have to interact with another human being. This is great. This tank is sent in by Tasha. Ooh, nice. Anubius Barteri right in the middle. Some woodwork going on. Some Anubius Nana, maybe? I love it. This is like an Anubius tank, floater tank. Pretty cool, pretty chill. Oh, oh, our axolotl, I didn't even notice. It looks just like one of the wood pieces. The cute little axolotl tank. I think this is good. I don't know if axolotls prefer sand substrate. Could they potentially eat the sand by accident and get constipated? What's it called? Impaction? If so, I would recommend, you know, just keeping a clean bare bottom, which it's totally fine if you're keeping an axolotl. Don't want them choking and dying. But for an axolotl tank, and if it's good, if the sand is good, everything is fine. It looks really nice. It's one of the nicer axolotl tanks. It's like a planted tank. And I know they're known to dig up roots and stuff, and that's why you probably picked these plants. Very smart. 4.3 out of 5. Keep it up. This is a mess. I even made a background for my fish tank, Lamal. What kind of background is that, dude? Are you like 9 years old and then your art class? Actually, no. This is... This is probably younger than nine years old. But what kind of nine year old has the budget to buy a big tank like this and then what, like one, two, three, four, five, six, six blood parasiclids and the pink gravel. There's probably another cichlid in there too. I don't care who you are or what you know, but if you don't cycle your tank, I will find you and I will kill you. Honestly, Taken should have just stopped at one. How many is there now? Like four? What are they gonna take next? His dignity? Taken my dignity. I don't even know how to remix this one. <laughs> I wouldn't go so far to say I will kill you. Um, I will probably just be sad. What is gonna get killed is the fish. This tank is sent in by Fawns or Fonzie or Fonz A. Nice black substrate, uh, low stocking, I believe. Perhaps buff up your schools of tetras more. Maybe go for more neon tetras or more black neons. The artificial decor is not like blatantly artificial looking. It's still not the best choice. You've got some live plants in there and some fake ones on that fake artificial decor, but I would recommend uh, transitioning it to something more realistic. You could easily make or replicate something like this with, again, lava rock. Right now, 3.8 out of 5. Keep it up. Thanks, Google. Oh boy. Can a goldfish live in a one gallon tank? Most people have bowls that are a little over 0.5 gallons in size, so a full gallon will do one goldfish just fine. You won't be able to put more than one goldfish in a tank. Oh, you don't say. But a single goldfish will do well in a one gallon tank. You should ask, can a goldfish live more than a week in a one gallon tank? Google. James and Doe sent in this tank. Looks like some high quality glass, nice and clean. You got a bunch of floaters up top. Looks like probably frog bit that you trim back or maybe it's Alvania. I do enjoy the wood scape work that you've done. It's multi-dimensional. It looks like you know what you're doing unless you got really lucky and that's one whole piece. 
It's a really good piece, you should keep it forever. Don't let any of your Yakuscaping friends steal it. Plants are okay, they're placed a little bit haphazardly to me. Um, I wouldn't put the taller growing plants right in the front like that. Again, it kind of looks like one of those tanks and these tanks have shown up in FTRs before that the orientation is kind of like not facing the front. It almost feels like you're looking at the tank from the back of the tank or maybe one of the sides of the tank. Now you want to orientate your decorations and aquascape so that your audience is seeing the tank and feels like it's opening up to them, not closing it or having your audience behind a certain decor. That being said, this is still great. I'm going to rate it a 4.3 out of 5. Keep it up. I was just trying to find a way to build those hang on back cups for a pothos. And he ran into this thing, another failed, absolutely disgusting aquaponic system. Probably even worse than the last one. That's not even a fish tank. That's probably the holder for the plants up top and he just removed it and then decided Decided, oh, this thing can hold water. Found on Instagram. Before? Yikes. After. Even more yike. Now, I like the before more. Can you guess why? Pause and guess why I like the before more in the comments. I think you'll get it right. That's right. There was enough fish in there for you to abuse before. After, sure, the cup looks better, but there's a fish now and that is way too little water in there. You didn't even fill it up to the brim. Even if you did, you'd still be missing like four more gallons. It looks like a great mug to drink out of, not a fish tank. This tank is sent in from Give me a break. I'm sure that's a lovely name in your language, but I can't pronounce it. I'm too Asian to pronounce any name that looks like that. Beautiful skull of cardinals, nice. Juxtapositioned by the black mollies. Wow, you got a vision going on over here. Tall Val is in the back corner, some plants, other plants to try to fill up the back. Hopefully that's a nutritious substrate because they're gonna be feeding root heavy. I see that you're trying to get a carpeting plant going in the front. Some hardscape would never hurt. Maybe a few rocks or some good pieces of wood. So far so good, 4.3 out of five. I see a lot of potential in this tank, keep it up. Hey, oh, how you doing? Wanna lick me? No? Okay. Sturgeon tank in North Korea. This is awful. They look like they're dying by the second. I mean, we're all dying by the second, but they look like they're really struggling, you know, for a breath. And it looks like one of them has died. That definitely looks like a dead sturgeon. And sturgeon get way bigger than this, so they're definitely, you know, this is definitely not a good thing that's happened. But this might be the rarest uh, crappy aquarium on this whole list. You got the picture from North Korea. How did you do that, son? I've never really thought about it, but now I'm curious. How do they keep fish in Korea? Is it all like this? If people can't even eat there, is fish keeping a hobby in North Korea? That's the question of the day for me. I'm gonna go do some research after making this video. Zach Hong sent in this tank. Wow, beautiful blue uh, half moon beta right there. That's great. Uh, you got a clean tank, clean glass, very nice. Nutritious looking substrate. You got plants all over. You got some wood piece. Uh, I don't know if it's strong enough for the whole tank. You might want to look into adding more wood and more plants. You can also wait for the plants to grow out, no problem. Can't wait to see how it looks after it's grown out. 4.1 out of 5, good job and keep it up, Zach. All right, now we're at the end of the video. Thank you so much for those who have made it this far. You guys are pushing the algorithm and pushing my channel to new heights. Thank you guys so much. Remember to give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Remember the giveaways. Don't forget to sign up. We'll be doing those perhaps monthly or perhaps every milestone, like 60k, 70k. Pashi here is ready to go back to her cage now. I think she's been jumping around enough today. I'll see you guys on the next one and don't forget to get your hands wet. <laughs>